Hi everyone, welcome to percussion discussion by Kapu Kahun, Kapu Percussion, I should say. Um, so as you all know about Kapu, Kapu is an amazing percussion company uh, that's from India. So it's made by Indians for the world and uh, they make amazing cajones. They started with cajones and now they make a lot of other percussions, uh, including shakers. They make uh, foot tambourines. Um, they make bongos, wooden bongos. They make amazing rain sticks. I'm a fan of their rain sticks. They have, uh, you know, uh, hot rods, uh, whatnot. It's it's amazing. You must follow Gapu and try and see uh, the instruments that they make. Uh, a lot of my friends are here. Uh, Carola, who is just <laughs> in the next room is here as well. So I'm really happy to be inviting you all for the percussion discussion today. And uh, today we have a very, very, very special guest, uh, a guest that I'm so proud to be inviting uh, onto this conversation, Sukanya Ram Gopal, ma'am. Uh, so first of all, Merry Christmas to all of you. Uh, and it's also a reason why we have such a special guest today. Uh, Sukanya, ma'am, has been the pioneer for Indian percussion amongst women, and she's probably the first, uh, you know, artist uh, to have started playing percussion on such a massive stage. And uh, she is also the first woman ghatam player in the world who has taken ghatam to another uh, stage completely. And uh, I am such a big admirer, and I've also got to work with her for the last one, one and a half years with a few projects regarding Konakol and, uh, you know, uh, even to speak about rhythm and about, you know, schools and about her own life, which has been, you know, a lot of struggle to actually be there as a woman to pursue this art and to be a percussionist. It's not easy, but she has come a far way and she has been like uh, a light, a torchlight for a lot of people to follow her pathway. So I'm so, so proud uh, to be having her in the percussion discussion today. I see that she has joined the live session. I'm just going to invite her. And uh, I just can't say how excited I am for this session so far. So let's have her on the call. Namaskaram, ma'am. Namaskaram. <laughs> how are you? <laughs> ma'am, great, great. Uh, <laughs> is, it, is it audible for you? Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. It's audible. Yeah. Ma'am, such a privilege. I mean, uh, we have spoken otherwise, but to actually have an interview, I'm I'm yeah. a little jittery, but I'm I'm extremely thrilled. <laughs> <laughs> nice to talk to you, and uh, it's uh, nice. Uh, very happy that uh, Kapu Kahon has invited me to do this percussion discussion. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Uh, yeah. So uh, I mean, we just spoke about how commonly questions are asked, right, regarding where you studied, what you did. This is any anything that people can actually listen to interviews on YouTube or you know even written interviews. A lot of it is available. Uh, but I would just want one thing from your past regarding how you started. The sense that did you not have a fear or a or a sense of judgment because when you are too young you never realize whether you are a man or a woman or a girl or a boy you just pursue what you like was it like that yeah. for you with percussion as well or you know when when did that when did that thing start coming in from around that oh i am a woman and i might not get chances even you know things like that because when you start off probably you would not even have thought about that such a thing right <laughs> yeah yeah, to start itself uh, is a struggle, actually. Oh, is it? Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I I took uh, vocal classes along with my sister at my uh, house itself. Uh, okay. Music teacher used to come to our house and uh, teach us. Then I started learning violin. Violin, Even violin yes. Mas violin master Danapal sir used to come to our house and uh, teach me. After some time, he... Yeah, he was not able to come for the mm -hmm. uh, for to teach, uh, and uh, I don't know. From my childhood, I am very very fascinated with percussion instruments. Uh, okay. I used to go for concerts along with my sister, and uh, I used to sit in front and put talam for the uh, mm. So uh, I used to listen to Thaniya uh, Vartanam part in radio concerts um, so like that my interest towards percussion is uh, more than uh, vocal or uh, violin 
other things so i went to uh, th gurumurthy sir brother of vikku vinayagram sir yes, to sir. learn violin but my attention was with uh, mridangam class just opening happening just uh, next door so okay <laughs> so one one fine day i just went to arigar sharma sir he was taking class to some a student i just went to him and uh, i want to learn mridangam so he said uh, i didn't take any dakshinai or uh, nothing mm. nothing with me he he said today itself a very good day sit so like that ah. i started learning mridangam <laughs> uh, arigara sharma sir is a very very fine person mm. and uh, uh, he treated all his students as his children Uh, that is how we are we are all uh, all of us uh, uh, in the jagannath talavadya vidyalaya so okay. in 3 years i started playing for small small concerts and i used to go with uh, vikku sir along with him for his to attend his concerts okay uh, i was mesmerized by his playing the sawal jawab between mridangam and uh, ghatam was really awesome so mm. i thought of uh, i just uh, went to him uh, please can you teach me katam he told me you are playing mridangam very well uh, it's very difficult to play on katam it's just a clay pot so it's very very difficult for me to produce the sound from a clay pot is very very difficult for you as a girl uh, but i was not not at all convinced next day also i went to him persistent uh, please give yeah you, you give me the gatam and i will try my hand if i am not able to get the sound i just i won't trouble you but he is not at all giving me the instrument he is very assistant hesitant so he went to his father and told him uh, now sukanya is asking me to uh, teach her uh, gatam i don't know what to tell her uh, it's very difficult to for a girl to produce uh, sound on a gatam i haven't seen any girl any female playing on gatam so mm. the the conversation between father and son was going on and on and uh, arigara sharma sir told uh, told him just 3 years she has started uh, playing for concerts and she is a very hard uh, working person so let us try our hand it it may be a very proud moment for our school wow and and he told one one more sentence uh, that i cannot forget in my life gadam doesn't know who is playing on that whether a girl Oy or you <laughs> oh. so in during that uh, period uh, vikku sir went to uh, uh, abroad to teach gadam so berkeley university he went to berkeley uh-huh. university to teach gadam so he was under one year contract so uh, arigara sharma told him you just go and come back i will prepare her on katam so oh yo okay yeah yeah he gave me training like anything and uh, there is a phrase called tarigidu we have to get uh, more speed on that phrase so like that uh, he used to uh, tell me uh, play that tarigidu practice come on sir come and sit uh, before me and practice tarigidu so i used to practice tarigidu and he was uh, just uh, uh, having a uh, easy chair and uh, just he was lying on that uh, anyway i was i am a very small girl so i got some pain in my uh, fingers and shoulders so i thought of stopping for a minute i just stopped it and uh, oh he, why why did you stop i i i didn't ask you to stop <laughs> like that uh, no you, you used to give me the training oh so yeah all uh, that uh, it's it's really uh, very my fortune to have such a guru like uh, arigara sharma sir km vaidinathan sir vikku uh, vinayagram sir Uh, T H Subhash Chandran sir, so many. Oh, okay. Subhash Chandran sir also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, you okay, okay, okay. Yeah. 
and one uh, mr ramachandran sir he is he, uh, everyone uh, my guru and all uh, used to tell me he is a bank of uh, all core ways oh okay <laughs> yeah. okay yeah so many uh, uh, stalwarts uh, used to come to our class like uh, tk murthy sir he used to uh, sit and play with amrutangam and ask us to give a reply so mm, mm, those mm. days are very golden days for me <laughs> I can't think like, of such interactions and time now right now everyone is just chasing and running and you don't have the patience to sit and work so much exactly, it's it's exactly. golden to have that <laughs> was there any I, no. sorry ma'am yeah that's how yeah, you started how, yeah 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 okay ma'am was there was there any uh, like of course biku sir you just said he was hesitant to give the ghatam but was there any uh, slack from your family when they said like do you want to perk suppose pers- your percussion you can probably choose something else or yeah yeah my uh, mother was very much uh, no along with me ah, my father okay. uh, father didn't like it and uh, after some time i went to went for concerts he he used to come with me and uh, he encouraged me afterwards <laughs> ah not, okay not okay for the just when i started he was little angry with me actually <laughs> <laughs> okay then he okay. started uh, okay we cannot uh, i cannot uh, stop sukanya by from playing katam so <laughs> like that wow. uh, it went on yeah yeah and uh, it's also important to see see how many people have pursued gatam later like after you you know your student sumana is pursuing uh, there is a friend of mine ramya who plays gatam but yeah. this instrument has in reached a lot more women as much as i do i i know only you three people i don't know many of them what stops people from pursuing gatam and why is there such a big barrier in that you know girls are not taking up such an instrument ma'am <laughs> yeah it's uh... uh just uh, you know you, if you have to get the platform you know opportunity yeah. so yeah. we are seeing uh, in my experience i have seen uh, it's it's uh, the choice of co artists accompanies mm. only by the main artist mm, mm, e- mm. even the organizers would uh, say yeah wh- wh- whoever you choose you can choose so okay. the first first uh, priority goes to the main artist of the uh, concert. concert yeah and uh, organizers voices then comes uh, organizers choice mm. so uh, so the accompanist uh, chance depends upon the main artist and the organization so okay. it's very difficult to, to get the chance for a female mridangist or gatam artist or any other percussion mm, mm, because mm. Uh, i don't know male musicians or female musicians they want only male accompaniments yeah yeah, yeah. exactly so so i don't know what uh, what is the difficulty to have a female perk mridangam artist or gatam artist i don't know about it we have to ask them mm-hmm. but it's really very sad to know these things yeah because uh, i mean you are also a person who does a lot of innovative projects one which i am sumana is and radha is fortunately a part of you know kavin metum sor kattum but also a lot of uh, interactive videos that you put out with urupa sir and other people you know and even amit's putting out a lot of interesting projects how does it just stay in such a you know low profile and people are not noticing and uh, you know uh, not coming out it's it's very sad to actually see so was this scenario existing even when you started has it worsened over the years or has it got better because i see more mridangam players coming up but may may not be getting the best chances for sure 
I don't see anyone coming up front getting amazing chances. I know Ashwini, I know Deepika from, uh, uh, I, I think I'm right, Deepika from Bangalore. Mm. Uh, mm. I play Mridangam. And there are a few, few, few more artists, but none of them getting like uh, to the major concerts or, you know, getting more experience because experience matters, ma'am. You cannot do the best uh, in the first or the second stage. We may all make mistakes. But I think with every step, with more experiences, mm-hmm. with more jam sessions or, you know, interaction, just as you said, with many masters, that's how we grow up. Uh, do you think it, it, it's reducing over these days? Uh, is the situation I worse? I don't think so. Because I don't think so. Okay. No, even there are so many uh, uh, women uh, Mridangam artists. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, Ranjini, ma'am. I, Sorry, I'm, I forgot to tell her name. Yeah, yeah. Ranjini, Lakshmi, so many people. Yeah, Lakshmi, there. ma'am. Yeah. But since uh, he, so many people are there, but uh, have you seen them playing with a male musician? No, very rarely, very rarely. Or a top, top most uh, uh, female artist? No. Exactly. So if the chances are very uh, less, no, then yeah. uh, it's it's very difficult for them to uh, learn percussion. Yeah, because even be no hopeful chance, about no, no exactly. opportunity. Yeah, even though you are very much talented. Uh, you, you, our, the, our talent should reach the people. Yeah. <laughs> so even uh, I have faced so many things like uh, you no know, less volume for the mic, so many things, other things. <laughs> Ma'am, please so, share about those experiences. I think people have to listen to it. This, this is going to go on to podcasts and <laughs> other places. I mean, just, just maybe. I mean, of course, you can't say the name of the artist, but just give us. A couple of experiences where it was been really, you know, uh, disrespecting your art and your uh, your performance. <laughs> it's it's important for people to know, right? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, yeah. There was a festival in Bangalore, and I I have to accompany a great artist on that day. Uh, yes, ma'am. But uh, the Mridangist doesn't want to play with me. So I went to the concert and came back. So artist to artist, it's just a matter of three hours playing yes. together. That's all. In that three hours also, I'll be sitting quiet for some more time because Raga, Alapana, etc. Et yeah. Even uh, when you see the Kalpana Swarams or the Naraval part, when the violinist took up uh, the Naraval part, they want to have Mridangam accompaniment only. Mm. It's it's a sharing, no? It's a... Yes. So these are all my experiences. Sometimes uh, the Mridangam artist used to play on and on and on. So they will forget the way I'm sitting there. So it's all... <laughs> I mean, know, even uh, the term Upapakkam, you know? You're also yeah, pakka. I don't... <laughs> pakka vadinda adu. You know, it's, it's a percussion. Yes, it's yes, not yes, like a sub-percussion. Yes, I, I don't can, get that. Uh, yeah, you can tell the additional percussion instrument. Yeah. Upam is Actually, always like our, sub, right? Yes, yeah, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, uh, the additional percussion instrument, uh, uh, instrumentalist job is very difficult. We have yes. to know the... Uh, we don't know in which talam they are, they have to give taniyavartanam yes and uh, we don't know what mridang is going to play whether exactly. he will play chadusram or kandam or tisram in which korappu korappu is the major point other other um, things also we can manage the korappu yes. is a major point and we have to uh, immediately reply to that yeah, he would have practiced at home for so many hours. He'll yeah. come and show his prowess on the stage and you have to pick that up. Yes, ma'am. Exactly, yeah, very true. Exactly. So, it's, uh, we ha- I have to be very uh, con- conscious about wa- what he has to play, what he will, maybe last concert, what did he play. So, each concert is an exam for us. For any of yeah. us. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> And the two additional percussion and instrumentalists have more problem than others. 
yeah like no the, if the if vocalist is doing some kind of violinist has to play immediately exactly and uh, <laughs> so uh, it's all in the in our life <laughs> sadly sadly because there are changes happening on a uh, like when i see tm krishna sir's concert where he has ghatam and mridangam sitting on the sides and mm-hmm. violin just sitting beside but it's just happening in a bubble with certain artists with certain people it is not growing on a on a larger scale where it includes a bigger inclusion you know that it is not a bigger inclusion of people and maybe that's also what started you know the sri tal tarang right ma'am can you share yeah, more yeah, about yeah, how yeah. you started that off what made you start that off like maybe you yeah, know i told you, you yeah i told you one incident no yeah, after ma'am. that i came back without playing the concert i came back. yes ma'am i felt i felt very sad and very Uh, no my uh, my feelings were hurt a lot mm. so i thought uh, we should do something for my instrument and yeah. my thoughts feelings of uh, you no know, playing the gatam should reach the people so mm. uh, we we used to play gadamala with uh, bikku sir along with yes. uh, all the other students gadamala means each one of us used to have one one gatam with a different note ah uh. so it's it's a musical thing no one will have sa another one will have ga like that we used to have different uh, shruti pitched instrument and we used to play laya vinyasam and uh, came back together and play the uh, finale grand finale it, it was really very na- very amazing uh, program mm. so in, in those days when we did the rehearsals you know i just a small thought came to me why each one of us have to have this instrument how will it be when i took all the gatams around me and play a melody on that wow yeah. so that small thought was with me it was a dream for me i don't know how to achieve that so it was in my mind that's all so i thought of that, that my dream so i just uh, try to have some gatams around me i i try to make it uh, in mohana ragam and i try to play one uh, uh, ragam tanam i mean pallavi i set up pallavi and uh, try to play and uh, try to have uh, swara kalpana swara and uh, it was uh, 1993 i think march oh uh, uh, wow. <laughs> so um, uh, percussive art center fo- founded by uh, uh, bangalore venkatram sir okay he was arranging some uh, seminar he used to arrange seminars on different uh, instruments okay that time he arranged uh, uh, mridangam and ganjira uh, seminar so i just went to him uh, i have prepared like this uh, can i play in this seminar it's a very unusual thing it's a very uh, different concept so he said okay so i played mogana ragam that day uh, for the invocation of the uh, valedictory function of that seminar oh yeah wow yeah. so the first time in the world to actually have a string of ghatams played is by you and by no one else i don't think and, so yeah <laughs> i mean <laughs> you you would not have even seen ma'am because you would have followed so much music and gatam in your life so yeah. and uh, so i thought, and, i i thought of are having all other female percussion artist and the female mm-hmm. artist who couldn't get the platform so i gathered yeah. all of them and uh, try to play Gatatarang concerts. Such so amazing I, musicians, ma'am. All of them, like really amazing <laughs> musicians. Yeah, yeah. So far, yeah. Uh, I think uh, this is twenty uh, ninth year. Street oh. Gatatarang uh, concerts going on. Uh, wow. And uh, but still, lot of people have to encourage us, and lot of yes. uh, sabas has to encourage. 
because yeah. everyone wants to have only vocal concerts only popular instrumentalist <laughs> concerts means uh, there see, everyone has to come step by step only yes ma'am so, <laughs> we have to give uh, chance to every artist and uh, very like true that, very true uh, yeah i used to uh, compose my own uh, gadatharan compositions in different uh, oh yes ma'am none of them are simple yeah. I, i how complex and how beautiful <laughs> it is because uh, as, i mean i also see i don't know if, if people do think that way that you know women may not be great at you know rhythm or calculations or composing which is completely wrong when i look at you i i think i've played the most complex compositions or learned <laughs> most complex compositions working with uh, kavi in metum mm-hmm. sorkatum or even that concert mm-hmm. it was it wasn't easy at all i you know i made a hundred mistakes but i got to learn a lot from that and and to actually analyze those compositions in a bigger scale no you Man, you have you have played very well in a very short uh, notice <laughs> ayyo tried my maximum ma'am. i would love to learn more of it actually <laughs> sure sure we can do it <laughs> yeah and ma'am just throwing a light upon the konnakol as well because there are also very less women reciting konnakol uh, uh there are so many people otherwise even you know konnakol has become a big art form now and a lot of people recite konnakol but you know the authenticity the type of compositions that you recite it's not just like a very few syllables that people use that's how it has always ended up becoming if it is becoming a popular art people only know tadi gita tom or takademi takajunu it doesn't go to a bigger palette but when when we learn compositions from you uh, for this quartet that we have worked upon uh, they are extensive and there are novelties in compositions you listen to a lot of current rhythm artists current players you know you said one of the compositions was in, inspired by patri sir you know you also yes. have inspirations from vikku ji uh, where you know you convert the kavida into a very metric form uh, can you can you tell me how the inspiration came from for kavi in matum sarkatum and for viewers who haven't listened to that uh, please please do uh, watch it kavi in matum sarkatum uh you can actually go to any of our profile ma'am's profile or my profile you will find the links and you know a couple of videos regarding that ma'am please ma'am actually it is uh, it is in sunadam trust youtube channel also yes 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 yeah yeah actually i am uh, uh, very very ardent follower of uh, bharatiyar kavidai in yes. those days in school in my school days and uh, college days i used to go to oratorical competition always uh, i used to quote uh, bharatiyar kavidai first then only i will oh. start uh, speaking for the topic even oh. in uh, uh, when i when i gave lecture demonstration in music academy for the first time about mm-hmm. this gada tarang and uh, uh, gatam so the history of gatam and uh, about gada tarang how i achieved uh, this gada tarang so i gave one lecture demonstration and it was uh, adjudged as uh, best uh, lecture demonstration of that year wow. so in that also i started with uh, uh, bharatiyar quote only <laughs> so <laughs> i i am very fond of bharatiyar kavitai i used to listen to so many um, bharatiyar poems, poems yeah, in cinema and also by various artists and i used to recite it when uh, whenever i find uh, no uh, i i if i need some strength i used to read his poems oh okay <laughs> like that uh, no it so uh, i thought of uh, doing konnakol with along with this poem uh, so it was again it's this project is also my dream so i thought of uh, selecting poems and i need somebody because when i did konnakol no I usually in uh, in in my gatatharan ka- ka- concerts i used to recite uh, konnakol in the yes, uh, per- percussion solo so usually what i will do uh, i i used to put the melody in that like that i used to recite uh, uh, konnakol so i wanted to do the same thing 
in with bardiar poems and kornokon for that i need some more people i, uh-huh. i can't do alone alone uh, i wanted to have same minded persons so mm-hmm. i just uh, i messaged you you uh, simply uh, just uh, ev- immediately you replied me yes i am interested like that i just uh, <laughs> gathered i also i asked my daughter radha uh, oh, amazing she is great daughter? yeah <laughs> so so she also joined and uh, of course sumana my student she has also joined so we were able to do uh, make it very nicely in a, mm. in a very nice manner so each episode is different talam as you know yes ma'am <laughs> yeah in cycles of 7 so, in cycles of 9 in 6 ha uh, uh, yeah yeah exactly now It's... now another one has to come in mr chapatalam mm-hmm. yes 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 <laughs> so always uh, when, whenever i thought of korva uh, uh, you know i used yes, to uh, think of uh, all nadai i mean all sahasram uh, kandam tisram misram sangirnam like that yeah oh. that is also one interesting feature i saw about your compositions and also the conversation we just had before the interview about how you are fascinated with nadais you know you are saying uh-huh. about panch nadai and the uh, influence about that and uh, how how uh, how do you like I mean, there are so many varieties of core ways there are so many varieties of compositions in you know if you look at this core ways as one kind of compositions you can see so many styles from different artists uh can you actually throw some light about what what inspires you regarding a structure of a core way uh or you know how does it how has it changed over the years because you know core ways from you know very 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 old times to the current core ways can you just uh, maybe maybe it's very hard it's a long question but uh, to actually you know yeah. maybe make it interesting for uh, the viewers who are watching it because they don't know anything probably about what a korva is or uh, yeah. you know how the korvai structure is, has changed yeah yeah korva is always first part and second part the first part will be uh, like uh, all all things are similar and the second part will be definitely with tadi kitatom or tadi ingenatom like that and some uh, some artists of exterior some stalwarts uh, they won't uh, even uh, uh, used to use tadi ingenatom tadi ingenatom without tadi ingenatom tadi ingenatom they have made core ways hmm okay yeah yeah oh. so uh, it's really uh, that the link between 4 to 5 5 to 6 6 to 7 7 to 8 and 8 to 9 recently we played one concert gadatharam concert uh, in this month i thought of doing something unusual for the okay ma'am taniya taniya avartanam portion so i thought uh, of uh, doing just core wise now we will just start of core wise only mhm if we won't play that then na gata katin gata gata katin like that we won't play okay we just we started tadi tari gata tari gata tari gata tari like that each one oh. of us used to play the core way based on tadi tari gata tari gata tari gata ah the next okay. round was uh, based on tak gata tak din 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 tang gata gata tak gata tak din 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 like that okay. so the next one was kanda nadai so kandam to tisram tisram to misram misram to sangirnam like that we played uh, this uh, recently we played for the our our gadam gadatharam concert just only core way oh yo okay okay <laughs> i don't know how people enjoyed it or not i don't know about it but still i wanted to do something different uh, so another one more one more task is also there uh audience should not get up and uh, go during the taniyavartana that is yes. a major thing always uh, yes, i ma'am. don't know whether they they are not able to understand it or i don't know what is I, the 
that was actually my next question uh, <laughs> to actually educate or you know uh, uh, let let the audience appreciate rhythm how should yeah. we be doing that because uh, even even regarding women even regarding the entire audience that's also one thing that is all, that is important to make them say that rhythm is easy even when we started learning a lot of times i personally i know that uh, oh rhythm is very hard you know calculation is very hard mridangam is very tough to calculate and things like that uh, everything is tough if you look at that way and everything can be simplified if you are going to yeah. take time and be patient about breaking things shruti say in the part that is not easy the same way yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to actually yeah. know a composition be perfect about it is not easy how yeah. do we actually bring in a way that people can enjoy the mathematics the beauty of mathematics or you know make it more palatable or make it more tasty for the audience yeah. to understand yeah. because you have done actually, that one so yeah. yeah yeah exactly actually what is happening no everyone knows what are we going to think everyone knows uh, uh, what is that ಹಿಂದೋಳಂ ನಗುಮೋಮು ಎವ್ರಿಬಡಿ ನೋಸ್ ದ ಕೀರ್ತನ ವೆರಿ ವೆಲ್ ದೇ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಹಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅವರ್ ಓನ್ ಪ್ಯಾಟರ್ನ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ ರಿಥಮಿಕ್ ಕಂಪೋಸಿಷನ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹರ್ಡ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ದೇ ಮೈಟ್ ಹಾವ್ ಹರ್ಡ್ ಬಟ್ ದೇ ಮೈಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ದಿ ನ್ಯೂಯನ್ಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ when you when you yes, play sir. the mridangam with uh, uh, right side and uh, left uh, with gumiki gumkara and other thing definitely it will reach the soul yes even even in our uh, gatam also we can play the melody with gumiki and everything it will definitely reach your soul but uh, you have to sit and listen mm. <laughs> yeah very true yeah Okay. Yeah. Um so about about students learning uh, percussion and about the industry which doesn't still provide an infrastructure for the same what what can be actually done to change the scenario from a personal side maybe like for uh, you know for someone who's already doing percussion or as an industry is there anything that you want to change or want to you know establish so that this scenario changes because it is a burning question for all of us you know uh, how do we make a change yeah we have to uh, go on put some videos in the social media i think uh, that may be help us mm. that may be help us to bring out our talents to the people we have to reach out the people that's all yeah else. so we have to put more and more uh, videos more and more reciting co- core wise or playing the core wise mm. i think because nowadays uh, the social media is very uh, i mean very much popular among the audience or music lovers yes ma'am everyone will used to listen to that mm. so in the keeping that in my mind only i started putting all the exterior uh, stalwarts uh, core wise core wise yes ma'am yeah yeah so i i put uh, actually ketadil manadai kavarndathu and i used to you no know, when you when you listen to your core wise uh, it's my guru's uh, advice when you learn a core wise you uh, uh, doing uh, ಅಕ್ಕಕ್ಕೂರು <laughs> uh when you listen to your core wise right? and you have to research all the the nuances of the core wise what is the feeling of that uh, composer mm. and we can we can establish another 10 core wise from that yes from the inspiration of that core wise right? you can 
compose another 10 core ways definitely so yes. like yes. like that only i just uh, listen to the stalwarts uh, core ways i used to recite stalwarts core way and what i have inspired from that core way and uh, i just put it in the platform <laughs> Wow. So actually, okay. uh, no, yeah, uh, ah, yeah. No, no, no. Please, ma'am, continue, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there is one core way actually. Um, um, uh, Velu Rambadran sir used to play. Tadditta ke dera din tadtom. Tadditta ke dera din tadtom. Ditta ke dera din tadtom. Ditta ke dera din tadtom. Ta ke dera din tadtom. Ta ke dera din tadtom. Tadhi ke tadtom. Ke tadhi ke tadtom. Ke tadhi ke tadtom. Ta. this yes, usually he used to play in a, each and every concert so yes. he, this uh, this core way inspired me a lot i i just wanted to extend this core way so tadittak dera din datta 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 taddi kettattu taddi kettattu taddi kettattu taddi kettattu taddi ಕೆಟ್ಟಿಕೆಟ್ಟಿಕೆಟ್ಟಿಕೆಟ್ಟಿಕೆಟ್ಟಿಕೆಟ್ಟಿಕೆಟ್ಟಿಕೆಟ್
Wow. <laughs> and when it is with two different hands, for example, when a drummer plays the sticks with both the hands, it is mandatory that the left and the right should sound similar. That's how we train when we do the mm-hmm. drums. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. now we have different syllables for both the hands. You know, there are almost eight syllables because they switch the hands, Leah, ma'am. Uh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. and when it is from different hands, the sound is also different. Hmm, I mean, exactly, as much as yeah. I do know. So how hmm. how is that different? Is it because the the pressure on the left is different from the pressure on the right? Like yeah, uh, yeah. yes, yes. Because we use a lot uh, as a right hander. We use lot of uh, we we use to get lot of strength in the right hand than the okay, left ma'am. hand. So if if it if a uh, left hander means that person used to have more strength on left and uh, less strength on right so we have to practice like that the both hands should be in equal strength then uh-huh. only we can play all sorts of things you no know, uh, like uh, you know that gumiki part you no know, we yes, can ma'am. we can even even we can give or it on the mouth mm. so this is very easier so that it this only can pick up in the mic yes ma'am when we play like usually the we have to uh, lift the gatam to our stomach and we have to push it then that sound is amazing sound ah okay yeah like like this this gumiki okay. is different that go- that gumiki is different yes, yes. and just just touching the dom dom part this is just adding a support to the right right hand ah uh. so So and is, ma'am, when you just yeah when you just play the gumaki with the abdomen or the, with the stomach there was one thing because uh, it was said that women cannot play maybe because men play it with bare chest but uh, also when you move the ghatam it's just that the opening is getting covered by your body and being released by your body getting covered and released mm. is that yeah. so it doesn't yeah, need exactly. to be yeah it doesn't need to be that you need to be bare chested you can just move your body to do that right yeah nowadays Or, even uh, even uh, male uh, uh, gadam artists are not uh, having uh, without shirt they are not playing nowadays And yeah exactly <laughs> yeah for concerts also that's not how people play but that is also one reason that people said you can't play ghatam right because um, you know you yes, are a woman yes. yeah, It, yeah. it's such a contrast like you know they find reasons to just uh, you know say to no <laughs> Oh, oh my god so so interesting so many things to discuss about such a thing uh yeah and ma'am uh, is there is there any dream project that you would like to do uh because you know you just said kavin metum sorkatum was one such thing and you discussing about the core ways or sharing that knowledge to the world was such an important thing because those videos are not not that you just put out something especially the corway video was such a long explanation about where the corway came from where you heard it from the entire story behind a corway no one actually yeah. teaches such big wisdoms uh, you can yeah. never see videos like that so uh, one is uh, is there any anything else that you would want to share or any dream project that you would want to do maybe for music actually, or actually, participation uh, yeah yeah actually uh, Uh, we celebrate uh, our uh, viku sir's 75th birthday in a grand manner in bangalore with uh, uh, i i was thinking of having 74 gadam ensemble 74 gadam artists 75 gadam artists should uh, uh, play 
come and play for 75th oh. birthday of uh, Piku sir. But oh, yeah. uh, fortunately, 84 artists came. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. I I made each group. You no, know, starting from uh, uh, two beats, two and a half beats, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five, five and a half, like that. You no. Know? Totaling to 75. Yeah, uh, totaling to 75, and we gave uh, each group uh, name as a as reverse name. So it was it was oh. a very uh, very successful uh, program. So like that, mm-hmm. I wanted to have uh, all women artists together coming together. Let it be a separate band or whatever. each person each group can play some 30 minutes or 45 minutes like that i want to collect all the women uh, especially percussion artists together to put uh, some very interesting program that is an another idea and uh, my uh, great grandfather dr uve swaminath iyer he has oh. written his uh, uh, by the autobiography en sarithram and also a lot of uh, small small books uh, and in those days it was uh, some stories it uh, it all actually happened uh, no it's a real real uh, true story actually so he has written books uh, nowadays no all tamil people are uh, have, have scattered in so many different uh, uh, states or different uh, country also yes ma'am so they they uh, st- uh, their children don't know how to read or write tamil write tamil even, even yeah even my children doesn't know how to write and read so <laughs> so i thought of reading those uh, books to the public oh. through through media and i wanted to do that also it's also oh. my one more uh, project pet project <laughs> yeah yeah and of course i wanted to play some core wise and uh, put it on the media and uh, similarly i am i'm having another set of uh, stalwarts uh, where you know ketadil manadai kavardathu i have to continue that still more is there so <laughs> lots lots of work long way to go long how do you how go. how do you manage to find time to do the research part for you know kavidai because you have read, read a lot of kavidai and also you know constructing core ways because it's it's not just about your ideas with the core way you listen to a lot of people how do you manage your time and what is like your schedule uh, where do you listen to concerts do you go for live concerts or uh, you listen to a lot of records on youtube or how do you follow the new artists because you listen to almost everyone maybe you have shared stays with them for sure but also you tend to absorb because learning is something that is out of age and you learn from everyone who is around you so yeah of course definitely i i used to sometimes i used to go for listen to concerts sometimes i may not be able to go to the concert nowadays youtube is very much available and uh, uh, so we can we can get the uh, go, uh, each and every artist videos uh, and videos and uh, their their core ways and compositions it's very nice to hear and after listening and uh, no after listening we have to know the uh, content of that uh, composition yes ma'am like my guru told no uh, i have to that just uh, dissect dissect, dissect the entire uh, composition <laughs> yeah entire composition and uh, i used to uh, recite everything and uh, from that uh, if possible i can make some more core voice like that yeah like that only that ta 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 kadin din tang ta 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 kadin din din ta so like that you know from sausram to kandam that uh, kandam ta 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 kadin that is uh, Uh, came vedinathan sir composition ta 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 kadin din tang ta 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 kadin din ta 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 din din tang ta 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 kadin ta tim ta din ta tim ta tim ta 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 kadin 
லைக் தட் யூ இட் வில் கம் டு கண்டம் வெரி ஈஸிலி தக் கிட்ட தக்க தின் 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 தங்க கிட்ட தக்க தக்க கிட்ட தக்க தி தக்க கிட்ட தூங்க கிட்ட தக்க கிட்ட தூங்க கிட்ட தா தா தக்க தின் தின் தா தக்க கிட்ட தூங்க கிட்ட தா தா தக்க கிட்ட தக்க தின் தின் தா தக்க கிட்ட தூங்க கிட்ட தா 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 தக்க கிட்ட தின் தா தக்க கிட்ட தக்க கிட்ட தின் தா தா தக்க கிட்ட தின் தா தக்க கிட்ட தக்க கிட்ட தின் தா தா தக்க ஜுன் தா தக்க கிட்ட தக்க கிட்ட ஜுன் தின் தா தாம் தக்க தின் தாம் தா தக்க தின் தாம் தா தக்க தின் தா லைக் த ஆ this is came by dinadan sir composition okay okay he, yes he taught me a lot of core wise and uh, how to uh, yeah, from him only i just learned uh, know how to create that gumiki sound so i tried oh. in so many ways because because everyone says only with the open shirt you can play the gumiki so i tried this in so many ways <laughs> in so many ways and uh, i tried to uh, just uh, <laughs> yeah so even in in gadataranga also i just thought of so many uh, new ideas like uh, like uh, no that ranjini mala hmm. ranjini mala is there no they used to yes, play veena artist and uh, violinist used to play that uh, composition so in uh, each you uh, know they used to play kalpana uh, swaram if it is pa i used to get the pa gadam and uh, accompany them like that you no know, different gadams yes ma'am so it is it's uh, accompanying in different uh, gadams in that particular note will give yes. a very great uh, essence to that uh, kalpana swaram like that sometimes you no know, uh, usually kalpana swaram played by an artist and we have yes. to accompany them no once i what i did no we play the kalpana swaram in our instrument they used to repeat it nice 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 reversing yes. role reversing yes. right yeah 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 <laughs> breaking like a stereotype yeah. <laughs> yeah like that we did so many so many new things <laughs> yeah he said one last uh, question regarding concert because where there ex- i mean experiences where you have accompanied the vocalist during kanpana swaram or is that role always taken by the mridangam artist at least uh, if they give the chance to accompany while in while in itself is a big <laughs> <laughs> yeah because these stereotypes with a concert irrespective of whether it's male or female this this entire set of a sort of a hierarchy or sort of a rule that that, that came from you know some past uh, and it's more with women for sure because you know even taking the instrument and playing your examples so many talks that sumana had given so so sumana is your student and one amazing ghatam artist and musician and music researcher as well so she has given yeah, a lot of yeah. talks about how uh, you know th- they used to reduce the volume in the concerts they might switch off your microphone you know probably not let you play the concert just as you said so yeah uh, even even that that as a women but even the structure of a concert has very very strict rules yeah. that hasn't been changing over over the times which also you are breaking in terms of having stree tal tarang and uh, making concerts like this yeah um, i think it's actually, almost yes ma'am <laughs> actually uh, when mridangam uh, plays no the talam uh, the tempo of the talam is maybe different when when yes, it ma'am. comes to additional percussion instrument oh yo whether, it's so high it is, yeah it's it's so high they don't have the patience to put the talam so like uh. this so many other things are there uh, it's uh, you know we have to sit for another hour to speak all those things absolutely because it's a team work right where you have to team encourage work. and you also have to let another person shine it's not that you are you know suppressing yeah. another person and seeing that it's a competition on stage it, it can never work that way music will not be enjoyable it will be more of an ego state rather than you know sitting and enjoying the music even putting talam for the upapakam or encouraging or saying good words on the stage it's such an important thing which is which yeah. you, you might have had a lot of experience with 
so many people have joined and uh, asked so many questions so many questions one uh, ramya had uh, a question asking is there any artist that you admire and want to work with which was also one of the questions i was meaning to ask i was just thinking about the time it's almost 10 <laughs> i am very much interested i am very much interested and i am very much open to uh, for every each and every challenges no i uh, mm. i can i can work hours together with any artist now i also tried uh, no so many artists but uh, it it didn't happen to me again mm. same no it's it's very difficult to, to get uh, the, yeah, the yes, uh, to join them and uh, uh, my dream is also to play along with hindustani musicians ah, it's not okay. hap- it's not happening so see i i used to tell the organizers who are organizing uh, especially that uh, march 8th uh, women uh, <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> yeah, because that's women are seen only on those days right either women's day or you know just like bringing women together navaratri. for some navaratri yeah this we were speaking about also yes ma'am no, so organizers for march them, 8th yeah yeah i used to tell them why don't you have a male musician as a main artist and put percussion as women yes why are yes. you why do you have all women yes ma'am likewise uh, you know you you have to put uh, some male musicians along with women percussion mm. so in that way you are giving some more uh, light inclusion women yeah inclusion uh, yeah yeah so it's like that so it's it's really getting late <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah we can just as, keep as on I, speaking but yeah yeah I, as i told you we have to sit for another one hour too no by just speaking like this what we are going to achieve yes ma'am every everyone should change their attitude and change their mind it's all mindset no yeah if you have just as you just, yeah. yes ma'am if you have mridang uh, uh, female uh, mridangam artist the kacheri won't be a great success if you have that mindset we can't help it <laughs> very true very true mm-hmm. and and just as you said about your guru uh, saying that kadam doesn't know whether you are a woman or a man i i remember my guru saying to me because it's it's one golden you know light that he threw upon my head at that point mm-hmm. when you listen to music you know you you cannot know whether it's a woman or a man nalla vaascha nalla vaascha da irukum you know kekkaradhil ad illave illa when you look that's another thing why do you want to look music is to be listened it's not to be looked at right so why do you want to look just close your eyes and listen you will not understand a difference between uh, you know a woman and a man it might be good play good music or may not be as good that's the only distinction that happens it cannot be anything else so if people actually remember that and even teach more women artists even sometimes it's like reservation for you know people who have to come up right the government is doing a system like that so if there is more space for encouraging women artists or women enrollments into schools to learning percussion where they provide a little more you know like a free education or maybe a very subsidized education maybe that entire scenario can change and Yeah. since it's a very gurukula oriented system actually masters also have a big responsibility to teach women artists which may not be the case a lot of times right mm-hmm. uh, even from your experience we know that people can be hesitant but it is always the women struggle to try and prove their uh, talent and prove to the man <laughs> or prove to the world that you know i can do it uh, it can also be a way that you know you can be provided the space and you can just learn and perform uh, where there is no so much of pressure and proving yes. to be done yes. approval to be sought so yeah. Yeah. i mean than, it's also than, close yes, more ma'am. than more than physical strength we should have the mental strength to <laughs> prove ourselves <laughs> by god's grace i should say i i, I just came up up to some level <laughs> so absolutely ma'am because so if if not for a beacon of light like you a lot of us would not have seen like oh okay this person is there i remember 
going into a mridangam class for the first time and i was like first standard and uh, every student sitting in the class was boys and i was the only mm-hmm. girl getting in and i was like everyone was looking at me and saying like you know a girl coming from mridangam class you know why <laughs> it was in chinmay vidyalaya in a school and then the teacher walked in and she sat with the mridangam it was padma ma'am if you remember oh. uh, oh. from chennai oh. she used to oh. teach oh. like for a part time in chennai Tanja Ur Padma ma'am. So she used to come to the class. I was in first standard. It was in Chinmaya school. We had like one class of Mridangam every week uh, or twice a month or something like that. She came and I'm like, great, you know. Now whatever <laughs> other boys say, I don't care because I have an inspiration in front of me. For a child like, you know, five years or six yeah. years, it's important to have mm-hmm. role models and inspirations to actually see that they can also do it, you know. Yeah. So a lot of times that's absent from, for women for musicians mm-hmm. among women for artists mm-hmm. on multiple respects like if you take any person of art like cinematography or editing it's only slowly coming up if it's for music composing or you know konakol or for mm-hmm. ghatam or mridangam it's yeah, it's still yeah. taking time but you have been such a path breaker on multiple levels that <laughs> a lot of us can follow or uh, you know those lessons that you have left for us so yeah. I mean we are blessed ma'am I'm I'm so blessed to have this opportunity to speak about such things it can just keep on going I know but uh, I'll yeah. soon meet you in person and we can speak a lot about these things definitely, really worth definitely. writing or you know maybe making more music spreading to a lot of people and you know maybe teaching people that really are passionate about learning not thinking about whether they'll pursue or not but for the sake of the mm. art because yeah, yeah. that should yes. that should be the motto for the future everyone should yeah, in, love to in, learn in, in schools in schools they have to provide classes yes uh, ma'am more. they are giving music classes and other classes but not the uh, percussion classes so no they should very introduce true. Very true. they should introduce uh, music and uh, other curricular uh, uh, extra curricular activities to the students some schools Absolutely. are doing it and all not all the schools and they yeah. are oriented with only making uh, you know best result 100% result <laughs> <laughs> only academic focus not academic holistic academic. at all yeah exactly yeah yes okay so thank you so thank much you thank you so much ma'am yeah the puka hon and uh, um, aditya also Th- nice to speak with you charu thank you so much my my pleasure ma'am um, and merry christmas <laughs> happy new year may happy may the year. next year yeah. be for all of us and more for percussion <laughs> more for music amongst women yeah Definitely. yeah sure 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 thank you thank you so much ma'am sure.